during the burial ceremony. Animals can sometimes behave unpredictably. In a surprising turn of events, a snake suddenly emerged, causing a shockwave of astonishment. Kyla, who was already distraught, could hardly believe her eyes. Her aunt, a beloved family member and one of her closest friends, lay in the coffin before her, her eyes swollen from crying, and her heart heavy with grief. A sense of sadness filled the air as the rest of the family huddled together, engaged in quiet conversations while awaiting the commencement of the funeral service. Aunt Debbie, who had always appeared invulnerable, had now left them, leaving everyone deeply bewildered. The funeral proceeded as scheduled, and when it came time for the burial, an astonishing incident occurred that left everyone in disbelief. Out of the coffin, as if roused from slumber by its journey to the family cemetery, a substantial snake emerged. An eerie stillness enveloped the gathering. As they grappled with the unexpected presence of this serpent, in their state of shock and uncertainty, all eyes turned to Kyla who found herself thrust into a position of leadership. It was as if the family instinctively looked to her for guidance. Perhaps because her extraordinary aunt had imparted a wealth of knowledge and wisdom to her over the years. Kyla and her aunt had always shared a special bond. And Kyla had often felt protective of her. Even when other family members described Aunt Debbie as eccentric. This label was affectionately used by Kyla's own parents. But it was spoken with disdain by Debbie's other brother's family. Debbie and her two brothers, Corey and Mitch, had grown up in a wealthy family. However, their parents' financial mismanagement left little behind after the children had completed their education. Corey, content with his love for his family, was unbothered by the loss of fortune and focused on providing for his loved ones. Mitch, on the other hand, struggled deeply with the family's financial downfall. He had an aversion to hard work but still yearned for the luxuries that money could afford. Despite his material desires, he couldn't match the intellectual brilliance of his remarkable sister. Debbie had faced numerous challenges in her life, including childhood cancer treatments that left her unable to have children, a significant measure of a woman's worth in that era. Her journey to move past this and find fulfillment was a testament to her courage and resilience. Although she couldn't have her own children, her love for kids endured, and she imparted her wisdom to Kyla leaving a lasting legacy. Instead of pursuing traditional homemaking skills, she charted her own path by immersing herself in the fields of science and mathematics. She exhibited remarkable intelligence. And when computer science gained popularity, she swiftly delved into that realm as well. By this time, her parents had passed away, and she had been independently employed for some time. Her financial commitments were minimal, and she seized opportunities to invest small sums in various computer companies. Her brothers, however, viewed her investments with skepticism. They considered her actions foolish and couldn't foresee the rise of the computer industry. Mitch believed that she should have directed that money towards his two sons' upbringing instead. While Corey, although more understanding, held the perspective that it was her money to manage as she saw fit. Little did anyone anticipate the substantial wealth that these modest investments would bring to Debbie. Her newfound prosperity allowed her to retire and lead a life of her choosing. Her first act was to repurchase the ancestral family home which they had been forced to sell after their parents' demise. The property held sentimental value. 
with multiple generations laid to rest in the adjacent cemetery. Its loss had been a poignant blow. Debbie acquired the house not only for herself but also for the collective enjoyment of the family, however. This is when things took a complicated turn. Mitch and his family seemed to assume that her wealth was communal property, failing to comprehend why she wouldn't take care of all their financial needs. Even when she extended her assistance, it was often met with ungratefulness, and they appeared to believe she was obligated to them. Due to her single and childless status, on the other hand, her relationship with Corey and his family was vastly different. Corey never made requests for financial support. And her niece adored her aunt. Relishing the time spent together. Debbie's niece, Kyla, never requested material gifts from her, instead. She eagerly invited her aunt to tea parties or to join in. Building car tracks in the sand. In many ways, Kyla reminded Debbie of herself. And she took delight in nurturing the young girl's potential. Embracing her role as the unconventional aunt who introduced her niece to unconventional pursuits, they spent a substantial amount of time together. Discovering a shared passion along the way, snakes. Debbie had always held a fascination for reptiles. And she began keeping snakes as pets as soon as her financial situation allowed for their proper care. It remained unclear whether Kyla developed her affection for snakes independently or if it stemmed from her admiration for everything her aunt cherished. Regardless, she eagerly embraced the opportunity to learn more and interact with Debbie's reptilian companions. Kyla's mother harbored a deep fear of snakes but refused to let her daughter's interests be limited by her own apprehensions. She welcomed Debbie's involvement in sharing this passion with Kyla, attending special classes on reptile care and handling. Debbie also organized visits to zoos and sanctuaries dedicated to snakes using her resources to secure exclusive tours featuring animal interaction and educational sessions. Although she extended invitations to her nephews, they displayed no interest in delving deeper into this topic. Mitch's wife held an entirely contrasting view on reptiles. She had a strong aversion to them and did not hesitate to voice her opinion. On one occasion, when Debbie booked a beachside family vacation rental and intended to bring one of her snakes along, Mitch's wife strongly objected. She insisted that Debbie find an alternative arrangement and remove the snake from the house. She adamantly opposed sharing a roof with the reptile. Despite forgetting a crucial detail, Debbie was the one financing the entire excursion. Debbie had generously covered the expenses for the entire family's travel, including outings and meals during their holiday. Her family merely needed to show up and enjoy themselves. But it appeared that even this was a tall order for some. However, Debbie was not one to be pushed around. And she calmly informed her sister-in-law that if she felt uncomfortable with the snake's presence, she could arrange earlier plane tickets for them to return home. Mitch and his wife were taken aback. Shocked that Debbie was willing to stand her ground. They remained for the entire vacation but maintained a distant and cold demeanor toward Debbie. Despite her continued financial support, it was evident that her nephews had adopted their demanding attitudes from their parents. Their interactions with Debbie were primarily transactional. Reaching out only when they wanted something. If Debbie didn't immediately fulfill their requests, she would face their silent treatment for extended periods. Surprisingly, this arrangement suited Debbie, as it gave her more opportunities to spend time with Corey's family and her appreciative niece, Kyla. 
Debbie included Kyla in her travels. And the girl always displayed gratitude for the special experiences they shared. Kyla's parents, however, held the belief that extravagant gifts would hinder her development, emphasizing the importance of earning what she desired. Despite their differences, Debbie continued to support all the children. She funded their university education and ensured they graduated without any student debt, covering their housing costs to alleviate financial stress. During their studies, Debbie's nephews, however, remained dissatisfied. They couldn't comprehend why they had to earn their own spending money and expected expensive cars. When Debbie refused to meet these demands, they grew resentful. They attempted to conceal their displeasure while Debbie financed their education. Even as adults, they failed to express gratitude. Her eldest nephew graduated and gradually ceased all contact with her. While the younger one, Liam, struggled academically due to excessive partying, Debbie had to remind him several times that his funding would be cut if he failed. He narrowly graduated and entered the workforce. While her nephews often reached out to borrow money, without any intention of repaying her, Kyla brought joy to Debbie's life. Kyla excelled in school and earned scholarships. But her aunt encouraged her to decline them, asserting that she had no need for scholarships as Debbie was willing to cover all her expenses. Kyla started working at the age of 16, saving for a car to commute to school since her parents couldn't afford one. Upon graduating, Debbie matched her savings, enabling Kyla to purchase a decent vehicle for herself. Her determination to get her education was clear. Despite the academic challenges she faced, Kyla maintained regular contact with her parents and her aunt, visiting them whenever possible. Over time, Debbie had become not only her aunt but also one of her dearest friends. The devastating turn of events began when Debbie started feeling more fatigued than usual. She initially attributed it to the natural aging process but her heart told her something was amiss. She consulted a doctor who confirmed her worst fears, the childhood cancer, had returned, and this time, it had spread extensively. There were limited options for treatment, and the prognosis was grim. Debbie realized that her time was short, but she didn't want to disrupt Kyla's final exams. By sharing the news, she confided in Corey and his wife, and they wept with her offering their support for anything she might need. Debbie wished to live as normally as possible. For the time she had left, she decided not to inform the rest of the family, fearing they would prematurely focus on her finances. Meanwhile, Liam had returned to his old habits, a sign that he was in dire need of money. Liam's behavior became increasingly erratic. He would alternate between friendly visits, bringing flowers, inquiring about her travels, and eventually asking for money. This time, he appeared more desperate than ever. And when Debbie discovered him stealing some of her jewelry, she realized he was entirely untrustworthy. She had him removed from her house. Afterward, she received numerous calls from him, some days. He pleaded for forgiveness and assistance. While on others, he resorted to name-calling and accusations of selfishness. To address the situation, Debbie hired a private investigator and bolstered security measures in her home. Kyla, who remained unaware of her aunt's illness, expressed deep concern for Debbie, fearing that the ongoing stress might take a toll on her. Their conversations revolved around their 
post-graduation travel plans and the adventures they would embark on together. Debbie also shared her excitement about a new venomous snake she had recently acquired, hoping that the snake would develop a close bond with Kyla, potentially preparing her to care for it in the future. Their last conversation was normal and filled with laughter. The unexpected turn of events that followed left Kyla utterly shocked. A few days after the call, while packing up her room after completing her studies, she was surprised to find her father, Corey, standing at the door. Her initial excitement quickly turned to sorrow as she gazed into his pale, stone-like eyes. Corey broke the devastating news, her beloved aunt had passed away. They believed that her new pet snake had bitten her, resulting in her death due to the venom. The explanation seemed inexplicable. But Kyla was overwhelmed with shock and grief. And all she could do was weep on her father's shoulder. Kyla's grief was twofold, she mourned her own loss. But she also felt profound sorrow for her father, Corey. The unique bond he shared with his sister had been something special. And now, most of his family had departed. Kyla held on to hope that Mitch would step up, allowing them to support one another in their shared grief. However, her expectations were quickly shattered. Upon reaching the family home where Debbie had wished to be buried, chaos greeted them. It appeared as though Mitch and his wife had already begun moving in. Rearranging things and planning to redecorate, Kyla felt a sense of disgust but refrained from initiating a confrontation. Fortunately, Debbie's lawyer intervened, informing them that no alterations could be made until after the funeral. The service took place shortly afterward leaving Kyla in a state of disbelief as she stared at her. Vibrant and wonderful aunt, now still and pale in the coffin before her. The entire situation seemed unreal, and she struggled to make sense of it. Especially the notion that a snake had caused this tragedy. Kyla couldn't comprehend it, as nobody knew snake care better than Debbie, who would never have been careless with her pets. The procession carried the coffin to the cemetery. But as they gently set it down, the snake suddenly emerged from inside, where it had been resting. The presence of the snake halted the funeral entirely. And what followed was nothing short of alarming. When Kyla spotted the snake, something clicked in her mind, recalling a vital piece of information from her final conversation with her aunt, she quickly intervened, ensuring the snake was safely returned to its enclosure, allowing the funeral to continue. In the meantime, Kyla approached the lawyer with her concerns about the upcoming reading of Debbie's will. The family gathered in the study where the lawyer set up a computer to display some recordings. Kyla had harbored a hope that her assumptions were incorrect. But the recordings were about to reveal a reality more shocking than she could have ever imagined. When Kyla witnessed the snake emerging from the coffin, she remembered the words her aunt, Debbie, had shared with her. The snake's previous owner had its venom removed before Debbie rescued it, making it impossible for the snake to be responsible for her aunt's death. Kyla was the sole person aware that Debbie had installed cameras throughout the house due to her distrust of Liam and concerns about his actions. A private investigator had uncovered Liam's substantial gambling debts and the imminent danger to his life. Debbie, still caring for Liam, intended to provide him with the money he needed. However, their encounter took a dark turn all captured on camera. Liam entered the house, 
demanding far more than the debt he owed. And grew furious when Debbie refused to comply. In a fit of anger, he forcibly injected her with something and subsequently released the snake from its enclosure. Precisely as he had hoped. This cunning act led everyone to wrongfully blame the snake. Kyla couldn't bring herself to watch her aunt's final moments. But the police arrived just in time. Apprehending Liam. He had taken her aunt's life. And he would face a life sentence in jail for his actions. The most tragic aspect was that it had all been in vain. When Debbie learned of her illness and limited time. She revised her will. Throughout their lives. She had been generous with her nephews. But their ingratitude had worn her patience thin. She knew that Kyla would take care of them if the need arose. Which led to her decision to alter her will. Debbie left some funds as a retirement plan for each. Of her brothers. The majority of Debbie's estate went to Kyla. Who had been like a daughter to her. And this felt fitting given their close relationship. Mitch and his wife were furious about this allocation. But their options were limited. Their focus remained largely on the money. And they appeared more concerned about their sons. Custody for murder over time. They would likely adapt to the new situation and expect. Kyla to continue spending as generously as Debbie had. However. Kyla had clear plans for the inheritance. Kyla was determined to ensure her aunt's legacy lived on. She established an animal sanctuary on the estate's grounds. Where all animals were welcome. A special section was dedicated to reptile care. And she was able to rescue and care for. Thousands of animals. With the support of her parents. They were making a significant difference. One that they knew Debbie would be proud of. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more incredible stories.